Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Dom Vec Podcast. Today, I will be starting the Connecticut High School Lacrosse Preview Series, featuring some of the top players in schools in Connecticut. On this edition, Fairfield Lobo will be featured with John Kleinbeck. He is a multi-sport athlete who will be suiting up for the men's lacrosse program at Air Force next year. John, hello, and how are you doing today? Hello. I'm um, good, thanks. Thanks so much for having me on. You're welcome. So, first question. What or who inspired you to play lacrosse? Um... Uh, it was mostly my brother um, and my dad. Um, you know, growing up, um, we were just sort of a cross family. Um, so my older brother, my older sister, um, started from a young age, and I just sort of took after them. Uh, and I've just like growing up was just playing in the backyard, um, messing around with them. Um, There's some really early lacrosse memories I have of that. Um, and I think second grade was my first, like, real organized lacrosse season. Um, and it just sort of took off from there. And uh, obviously, as you're growing up, you choose a club. So what does the Clips Lacrosse uh, Club meant to you? And how have they helped you grow as a player? Yeah, um, the Eclipse Lacrosse Club um, really means the world to me. Um, you know, I've played there since third grade. Um, and, you know, like 90% of my teammates now we're on that same third, fourth grade team. So we've really grown up together. We've played together for a very long time. Um, and we've been able to build, you know, a great team and a great, you know, great culture that we had. Um, and yeah, it was just a great experience overall. And uh, obviously going into high school. So why did you stay public at Ludlow and not explore other options such as going to uh, like a Catholic school such so as a prep or like a boarding school? Uh, yeah, so um, a lot of my friends were going to Fairfield Prep. You know, I think like four or five of some of my best friends from middle school were all, um, are all prep kids now. Um, you know, and I knew there'd be a really talented group um, and have a lot of success. And obviously I could have I tagged along with them. Um, uh, but, you know, I just wanted to sort of, um, sort of build like my own path sort of at Ludlow. Um, my brother and my sister both went to Ludlow, so, you know, growing up, I've always just been sort of, like, going to their games, um, just sort of like a Ludlow family, um, so I just sort of took after them, um, and, uh, and yeah. So, how were your freshman and sophomore years at Ludlow, and what did your upperclassmen do the easier transition into high school lacrosse? Obviously, kind of, because the pandemic, so there wasn't a lot of you know, team activities going on. Yeah. So how did they help uh, your transition? Um, yeah, my freshman year was definitely great. Um, I was able to get a lot of experience. Um, I got, you know, a good amount of playing time for being a freshman. Um, and, uh, yeah, you know, we were a senior, pretty senior-heavy team. There was a lot of good players um, on that roster, and we were able to have a great year. Um, that was the year we beat New Canaan for the first time. Um I think that was in for in program history. Um uh and then you know, sophomore year, I really just stepped into a bigger role on the team. And again, you know, we were able to have a, another great year. Um so, you know, that transition was was pretty easy to high school. Um and uh yeah, I'm just I'm just grateful for uh starting off my career, you know, pretty quick and fast, um, getting onto the field early and sort of developing, um, helping develop, you know, my uh, play style in my game. So how was your recruitment? What were your final schools and why did you choose Air Force in the end? Um, yeah, so um, my recruitment, um, it was, it was a, it was a pretty exciting process. Um, my final schools in the end, you know, I really was sort of choosing between um, Vermont and Air Force. Those were sort of the two schools that I had most interest in. Um, and, you know, I, uh, I didn't really, I didn't, didn't come from a military background or anything or serving in the military was never like my dream. Um, so, uh, you know, I just took my visit um, down to uh, Colorado Springs in early September, um, and, you know, I just really fell in love with 
the um, culture of the team, the coaches, and then everything, you know, about, um, you know, the academy. Um, it really inspired me to just take that path. Um, and I couldn't really, I couldn't be more excited for the next four years um, in my career beyond that. Um, and yeah, I'm just so grateful for the uh, opportunity that I had. And overall, like, what does it mean to go to a service academy and serve your country? Oh, yeah, it's, it's definitely a great feeling to know that I'll have that opportunity. Um, you know, serving my country is, um, you know, it's just a great feeling to know that I'll, that's um, an opportunity that I have. And uh, I'm just so grateful for it. Yeah. Is there, what is the schedule like overall when you're um, up at Air Force? Oh, yeah. It's, uh, um, it's definitely a lot. Um, I was able to spend, like, uh, I've visited twice so far, um, you know, and you sort of go through the, the day in the life of, a, of an athlete there. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty early classes. Um, and then, you know, practices, lifts. Um, yeah, I mean, the way they really... Um, the do things is super special. Like I was able to watch practice, um, and uh, the way that they work, the way that they, you know, um, attack the uh, of the way they approach uh, things is really special. And I'm really excited for to join that in the future. So last year, you guys played in um, the uh, tier two of the FCAC, ending with a record of nine and nine. You beat Bristol Central in the first round. Uh, but get uh, but ended up getting beat by Glassmere in the round of sixteen. Uh, how did you feel about this? How did you feel about the season overall? Yeah, um, it definitely wasn't our greatest season. I think you know we could have we could have done better. Um, but we had a really young team. I think we had six or seven sophomores um, starting, um, and you know. We really just, it was a good year to learn from and build from for this year. And, uh, you know, I'm excited about this year. Um, you know, I have pretty high expectations for our team. Um, and, uh, yeah. So uh, how has playing other score, sports helped you on the lacrosse field? Uh, yeah, so I've, I've played football my entire life, too. Um, so, you know, football, obviously, um, it's helped me get that toughness. It's also definitely helped me get stronger. Um, uh, football, you're, you know, lifting every day. Um, so that's definitely helped me with the cross. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So what are your individual and team goals for this season? Um, individual goals. Um, I want to make the All-State team. I haven't done that so far yet. Um, so that's one of my goals for this season. And then team goals, obviously, you have the FCA playoffs, the state playoffs, um, and then really build from there. I mean, uh, I just sort of want to, you know, the main goal is just focus every day um, at practice, go day by day, and then work from there. Um, yeah. So overall, last last question right here. So what has Ludlow meant to you, and what do you want your legacy to be there? Uh, yeah, Ludlow's, Ludlow's a really special place to me. Um, uh, and uh, I really just want to make my, make my mark and, um, you know, help really turn around some of the, uh, um, like, some of the uh, programs, like the lacrosse and the football program help turn them around, help build them um, just to a better place. And, um, yeah, I mean, I feel like so far over the last recent years, you know, we really have done a good job of doing that. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited for this upcoming lacrosse season and uh, finish my career off on a high note. So thank you for watching this edition of the Dom Beck Podcast in the Connecticut High School Lacrosse Preview Series. Thank you, John, for joining me today. And everyone have a great day and hit the like button and subscribe for more sports content.